Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today we're going to make some fun dessert tubes which give a burst of dessert all in one mouthful. The amazing but expensive Alinea restaurant came up with this idea a while ago. These would be awesome at a wedding or party because they're so much fun to eat. I'm going to show you a few different flavors but you can of course keep it simple and just make one. You'll need some glass tubes and they need to be smoothed off at the top using heat. You can get ones online that are just cut but they're a bit rough so make sure you check when you buy them. First of all for the pavlova tubes we need some mini meringues and for that you'll need egg whites and some sugar and water in a pan. And I'll put all of the recipe quantities on the howtocookthat.net website for you and I'll add a link to that below. Heat that over high heat, stirring it until that sugar is dissolved. Then add a candy thermometer to the side of the pan and turn on your mixer to whip the egg whites. Once the sugar syrup reaches 240F or 115C, remove it from the heat and then with the mixers running, pour it in in a thin stream into the egg whites. Continue to whip that until it's glossy and thick like this. Place it into a piping bag and pipe tiny little dots onto non-stick baking paper. Then we're going to bake those in the oven to dry out. Keep the rest of your Italian meringue in the piping bag and we'll use that later. Make a batch of strawberry jelly or jello, mixing it up with three quarters of the amount of water that it says on the packet so that it will settle a little bit firmer. Pour some of that into a tall container and then add the dessert tubes and place that in the fridge. Wash and hull some strawberries and then chop them really finely so they're small enough to fit into the tube. Once the meringues are baked, just loosen them off the paper and store them in an airtight container until you need them so that they don't go soft. Now that the jelly is set, you can pull the tubes out and just wipe the outside clean. Now if I was making these again, I'd do this step last once you've filled up all of the top because the outside jelly actually helps hold the tubes still and it also keeps them cool. Use a pipette to add some cream onto the jelly and then drop in some of those mini meringues. They're so cute and little. And then to top that off, push in as much of the chopped strawberry as you can. And those ones are looking good. For the root beer float dessert tubes, mix some of the root beer with the gelatin. And then once that's sat for a couple of minutes and softened, heat it in the microwave to dissolve that gelatin and then add the rest of the root beer. Pour that into a tall container and add the glass tubes and then let that set in the fridge just like we did before. For the thin vanilla custard, you'll need cream, egg yolks, sugar and vanilla. Add the sugar to the egg yolks and whisk them together. Then heat the cream just until it just starts to bubble and boil. Then add most of that hot cream to the yolks, whipping it through. And then tip the yolks back into the pan and stir that for a very short time, literally about 20 seconds. And as soon as you start to see when you tip it, see how some is on the base, take it straight off the heat and tip it into a bowl. Add the vanilla to taste and then leave half of it to cool for these tubes. And then with the other half, pour it over some milk chocolate for the kids tubes that we'll be making next. If you leave that to sit just for a minute, the chocolate will melt and then you can stir it through until it's well combined and yummy and thick and smooth and chocolatey and then just let that cool as well. Add some vanilla to the cream and whip it on high speed until you have soft peaks. Once your jelly is set, use your pipette to add in some of the custard, probably about three pipettefuls there. Then using a funnel, add in a generous amount of sherbet and this will make it all fizz in your mouth like an ice cream float fizzes. Then top each one with whipped cream. For the kids dessert tubes, make some blueberry or any brightly colored jelly and add the tubes in. Once that's set, use a pipette to add some of the chocolate custard that we just made and top that off with a few jelly beans. And when you're ready to serve, add popping sugar and a bit of cream. For the lemon meringue pie tubes, these ones are my favorite. Make some lemon flavored jelly and add your tubes, just like we did before. Now for the yummy lemon curd. You need lemon juice, lemon rind, butter, sugar, one egg plus an extra yolk. Just add everything into the bowl, 
except for the butter. And then whisk that together and then we're going to microwave that in 30 second bursts, stirring it each time until it's thicker and it looks like this. Then add in the butter and just stir that through until it melts and that's simple, that's done, you just need to let it cool. For the crunch in the lemon meringue pie, I'm using tiny teddies. Any cookie that's plain and crispy will be fine. Chop them into rough chunks that will fit into the tubes. Once the jelly is set, pep in the cool lemon curd. Now with each of these, I'm using jelly at the base to help get it all out. Something creamy and then something to give it some crunch and then finally a fun element. You can make up your own flavours of tubes and your own combinations. Let me know in the comments below what you think would be good. Add the crunchy cookie bits and then pipe in the Italian meringue on top that we made at the beginning. Instruct your guests to dip the jelly end in hot water for two seconds to loosen it and then suck on it like a straw. And in one mouthful, they'll get a dessert hit with all the flavours. That was awesome. That was like eating an entire dessert in one mouthful. And take it out and suck on this end. All my favourite flavours to put into one thing and it's just like BOOM! That's really good. It tasted exactly like a pavlova, it was amazing. And it also tastes like a cloud floating in the sky with ice cream on top of them and the clouds made out of berry flush. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here for the recipe, here for last week's video and here for my channel. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.